Welcome back to Star Wars D&D, Session 60. Ajisai has been kidnapped. Tuzig, under the influence of Laber, is escorting Ajisai's unconscious body elsewhere. Laber has assured the team that he'll be returning Ajisai soon, but what may occur from this experiment? Will Ajisai's force return, or will the void only grow deeper? Find out! Probably not this time. Alright, let me let me adjust these cameras here ever so slightly. Things, as I believe I mentioned last time, may look ever so slightly different. But I think everything is back in place. One of you talk real quick just to make sure they can hear you. Testing. Alright. If their audio needs to be adjusted, please let me know. Uh, but new computer, hopefully everything will run smoother. Um, and... I meant to say this last time, but I completely forgot. Uh, Aji Sai will not be here this time. The reason I had him abducted, this is going to happen in a, a variety of possible ways, but this is the one that ended up making the most sense at the time. Um, Aji Sai, the player, is gone for a little bit. He'll be gone for the next two sessions, I believe. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully, he might be back next time. I think he won't be back until the session after next. So, uh, yeah, there we are. We get that music kicking up so that they can see the last me and you. That is louder than that needs to be. I think. <coughs> it's actually not even coming through, is it? Let me actually pull this, uh, that music site up again. There we go. Now you should be hearing music. Let me know if any audio needs to be adjusted. But without further ado, let's get going. Last I recall, you were all in the ship on your way to Moncala with the plans of addressing the Mellis situation as you know that she was on her way there. If there are any changes, let me know. Or at least was on her way there. <clears throat> yeah, I, th I think we were going to go to Moncala. If I, if I remember this correctly, we were going to Moncala, and then we're going to handle that situation there, and then we're going to go to to Narshida. We were just going to. We were just oh. going to. Also, Midas will sound a little bit different because he has a new microphone. New mic, new life. So we were just going to uh, let the bear have. Nachi <laughs> side then is that what it ended up being? Wait, 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 because we we were gonna wait until we got until we found out where that they were gonna be at. That's right, because so we, we, we didn't. Yeah. They were gonna meet somewhere, and then he was gonna go after that. So there wasn't any point in trying to go into Imperial space, heavy Imperial space, and it just be. No, we don't know that for sure. We're just kind of guessing. We'll find out. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably safe, safe, safer plan. Because I had a, I had coordinates uh, of where they were headed. That's right, you do. Mm -hmm. Oh well, yeah, where they're heading is inside of uh, Imperial space. So yeah, my call it is. <laughs> and we'll, we'll make a judgment call after that. <laughs> Wait, it isn't yeah? Isn't Melis going to my call? I, I wouldn't know that. So. Uh, no, I told you the last session. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had our talk. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, you know about the girl, you know about Mellis. Screen's gonna flicker. You're you know, still while not... I was contemplating killing you. <clears throat> <laughs> One more time. It's half expecting to draw. There we go. Now it's hooked properly. Let me influence that dark side properly. It is already heavily into the dark side. I just feel like they're rooting for Mike yeah. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> GG, man. You very well could be. So, is anyone doing anything? Um. Well, how much time has passed?
Uh, we'll say a few hours. A few hours. What's the uh, back to stats again? Now back to neutral. What's the back to stats? Yeah, the back to stats. Uh, you <laughs> heal from a short time, like a for a few hours rest is to count as a full rest instead of a back to tank. You said the back to stats and Connor goes, it's back to neutral. Oh my god. I know that wasn't oh. intentional, but still. I thought that was funny. Back to you bring that up. <laughs> I have realized uh, one thing not properly implemented. As a back to tank. Trained. <clears throat> huh. There's a road check for back to tank? It's like something turned off. Uh, don't in the worry background. about that. It's nice. <laughs> it, it's essentially you'll fully heal if you're in the back to tank for at least a few hours. Okay. Uh just to confirm, I'm currently fully healed. Uh yes. Okay. I emerge from the back to tank. Victorious. And scathe. Back to full health. <laughs> When like wave my hand, oh, the master going there for for a few minutes. <laughs> Do not go in there. All right, you have entered meeting room Midas. Anything you're doing? It's been a, yeah, it's been a few hours. I thought I would um, talk to Mace and then revisit with the clones. Turns to you. What is a bad one? Or I guess not a bad one anymore. What is it, Knight? Well, I'm conflicted. About what? At that point you see Putamayo enters. So <laughs> Putamayo. Well we have it feels like a divide. I would say the clones so. are talking about the clones are talking about leaving. Well, it may be better for them to leave. I wouldn't say any of us are safe right now. I have presented my ultimatum to Zeno. And how did he take it? He seems to be somewhat on board. But... I don't know if it was because he was being sincere or if he was... It's, or if it's because he... Uh, what's a good way to say that? <laughs> I was going to say, or because he had low health. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> or because he took um, quite a beating in the last battle. <clears throat> Hopefully it's the first. Well, <clears throat> well, hope will only get us so far. Is there anything that you intend to actively do about this? At this moment, I'm just going to watch his actions and go from there. If I don't see a change, or if I don't see a change in his demeanor and his, and the way he approaches things, then it's going to have to be. I look over, put a mile, dealt with. Sorry about that. You might have just heard some random stream pop up in the background as audio as I'm trying to fix the thing that's broken with the channel point redemptions. Uh, I had to reopen Twitch and it put me to the front page. Who doesn't love when audio automatically plays, right? Love it. Sorry. Continue. Do I need to repeat? Uh, yes, please. You can give me a summary of what you said. 
Oh, I, I'd say I, I said um, I'm gonna watch his. Uh, I'm gonna like watch his demeanor and uh, see how he approaches situations and see if I've noticed a good change. And if I don't see something, if I don't see the change happening, then then he will. And I said, and then I look at put a mile and I say he will have to be dealt with. I agree. Just make sure that we um, resolve this before it gets too late. Before it becomes too late to deal with. Midas, are you speaking loud enough where I can hear? Yes. Oh, okay. I assume that um, everybody on the ship is probably listening in. Everybody on the ship? <laughs> At least everybody that's force sensitive, for sure. <laughs> No, I'm chilling. I got something else I'm doing. <clears throat> Ace, Clover, Clobber. Have you decided that you're going to leave or stay? We're going to leave. We think that you being here may help bring everything back to a better place, but... In truth, I don't think that there's much that we can even do to assist you at this point. Where will you go? And we'll go back to mercenary work. Like we did before. Just be careful out there. Also, if you, uh, if you ever need help, you know how to contact me. I'll be your ally. And if you ever find yourself in a pinch, reach out back to us. Maybe we'll be able to come in and pull through once again. Like old times. Exactly. I'm going to, uh... Take down their line. I don't know. Their, their contact information. Well, I'm going yeah. down mine and, like, slide my tablet over. Okay. Yeah, the yeah, table. They, they put down theirs. You exchange numbers. Yeah. We'll roll up a form right. check. No. Code <laughs> cylinder uh, outputs. And all I'm going to say is... We'll meet again. Contact me if you need to. Alright. Like we said to Midas. Same goes, same goes the other way. Wonder who's who planted the bombs. What that was them. Yeah, he's walked out, got scot free. <laughs> <laughs> they off the ship, they start high fiving each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it was LeBear, wasn't it? He said he did, but there was another one that he didn't do, right? No, LeBear, so LeBear just set the bombs. He didn't uh, detonate them. Or, well, he didn't so, even set them technically. According uh, to LeBear, he set, or he was responsible for the ones inside of the garden. <laughs> saying that they had a very specific trigger, and that that was all he did. Okay. And, and further knowledge that we've got, we know HK was present on this ship. So HK uh, was the other one. one. He's the one that moved them around. Don't know for sure. I, I didn't see that, that much, but I just maybe he's present. Maybe he's a little salty for failing to kill uh, Oh, Odyssey. Damn, dirty <laughs> droid. I'll kill him. I mean... Uh, maybe we could just, uh, you know, line up, take everybody on the ship, put them in one room, and just... Uh, as you know, go, go one at a time, just look at <laughs> <Yep>. the past. <laughs> You're all check Boy, out. Well, thank you for believing in us. GG. <laughs> <laughs> And for the droids, we'll just get that line up Soda 77. And watch it with Soda 77 himself. <laughs> he stops it by he stops at Joma. Oh, and by the way, you're I mean you're innocent, but you should probably clear your browser history. <laughs> <laughs> Winks with no eyes. Yeah, he never finds out. Winks with no <laughs> eyes. <laughs> It's just like the, the outline of the uh, the brow. Just like, <laughs> it's, it's, 
<laughs> he just moves his eyebrow up and down. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I will um, exit this area and head to the back to the cockpit. Wait, hold on. So Midas. Oh, yeah. Where'd you go? I don't really know where we went. Hold on. Let me, uh, I can, I can reference that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't remember last week. What are you talking about? I can't remember yesterday, man. <laughs> What? Um, I thought it was Wednesday. Let's play. Okay. Uh, Grandmaster Windu took me to uh, Manan. Oh. Did you have fun? Um, I learned a lot. Oh yeah, like what? It was very eye-opening. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, was put through, uh, through some trials. Had to make some decisions and uh, talk to some. Uh, talk to some Jedi of the past. who, uh, after much time and <laughs> discussing, deemed that I was worthy of being a Jedi Knight. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. I get... Is this what you always wanted? Well, I never really cared about a title, but it is... You know, it is nice. Who did you speak to? these Jedi Knights of the past. Well, the Jedi of the past. Well, in one situation, uh, Ken and Mellis. <clears throat> and then there was another situation where I talked to Kit. And then another situation where I talked to LeBear. Oh, and are you willing to share what kind of insight did you gain from them? It was more about... It was more situational. They would uh, present a... Uh, a conflict between each other or a situation and ask me how I would handle it. And uh, with uh, Ken and Mellis, uh, it, it felt like one way or another it was going to be a wrong decision with Ken and Mellis. Like, if I picked the other way around, they would have said something else. And But it's, I chose what I chose. Um, what exactly did you choose? <laughs> <laughs> I was following them into a kyber crystal cave and Ken wanted to harvest the crystals and bring them back to the Jedi temple and Melis said to that they should be left untouched so that the next generation can come in and run through the trial and get their own they both looked back at me and said who do you agree with and I chose Melis and that they should be left I believe that getting going for your own going to gather your own crystal is part of a trial to become a a Padawan. Ah, oh, yes, I remember getting my first Kyber crystal. Oh yeah, remember all those bugs we had to fight? <laughs> it was truly, truly one of those times. And Kit, what kind of decision did you make for him? You're making me read. <laughs> <laughs> remember. Remember who you are. 
Uh, he just talked to me a little bit about how he was proud of me for what I've, you know, what I've become at this point. And, but then he said that he hesitated to call me a Jedi because of the company I kept. Ooh. And, um, he asked me when it comes down to it, what, when a decision has to be made, what decision will I make? Okay, go, go, get out of here, go. Step and go. <laughs> I'll get you this part in it later. Just go, move. Yeah, put him on, just go. I miss having the freaking mute button. I could just flip my headset up, I guess. Get out of here. There's also, you can make a hotkey for it in the future. I guess I can. That is not muted. <laughs> and I have fixed the channel partner name, so uh, using the influence light and dark side should be properly working right now. Oh, yeah, let me test that. I said shut the door, not slam it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tired of having fixed pictures in this house. All right. So, um, he asked me when it came down to it, if it did, in fact, if Zeno and Ajisai did not, or ended up turning further to the dark side or further down this path of destruction, what would I do? And I hesitated at first, speaking of wants of changing them and making them good again, what I truly want, but he wanted to know, he wanted me to dig deeper. He said, but if that doesn't work, what are you going to do? And you already know the answer. No, I don't. Well, you just heard me say it to, to Mace. Oh, I, that's I mean, right. Grandmaster Windu. <clears throat> and that's absolutely right. You, you're you a gung-ho on, on murdering your friend. I'm not gung-ho. He's ready to do what's I mean, necessary. Yeah. If it needs to be that way. But I don't want it to be that way. If it needs to be that way. I see. Well. And the bear. You seem like you have your own idea here, Putamayo. Do you think things no, should be just, done differently? Uh, well, uh, on a very similar note, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I concur. It's going to end up being like all three all against me, isn't it? God dang it. Freaking <laughs> silence all over again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, put my flash of the dark side. No, I'm playing. Um, and the bear. Well, what he, kind of choice did uh? That one was, that one was tricky. Uh, I saw a vision of him planting the seed that I gave him. The tree sprouted, and then on each leaf of the tree, there was a different path that could be taken a different future. After looking at several of them, um, it doesn't look well no matter what happens. Whether I stick with Zeno or whether we take care of him early on, later, or if he changes. I mean, I didn't see a future where he changed to the light. But that doesn't mean it wasn't there and it can't be that doesn't mean it's not possible but one way or another the paths lead to death so what was your decision it wasn't a decision it was just a vision mm. visions are often ominous they also can be misread. That's true. 
Very I true. think our future is what we uh, make of it. To an extent. The force guides all things, though. Except for Ajisai. And perhaps even LeBaire. Except that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess technically it still is, because, um, I mean, it's it's... It's in his person taking him right now. I don't know. Uh, hey, he's trying to derail him. <laughs> no, Ford's trying to derail him. <laughs> okay. Put him in that ditch over there. So like, we may have an altercation coming up soon. We're heading to Manan right now, and I believe we're going to have some company. I thought we were headed to Moncala. Oh. Uh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Moncala. Sorry. Company. <laughs> Well, uh, 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 first, thank you for sharing, Midas. Oh, oh I'm sorry, night, definitely. Midas. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and what kind of company are we expecting? I may be wrong. Wasn't Melis heading there? Melis and the, the Force-sensitive girl. Melis and the Force-sensitive girl were heading to Moncala. I honestly don't recall if this was shared with everyone or not. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um, but Wait, oh. you would have known previously, because when Midas was gone, that's when we, we found this information out. Or that's when I found or that's when I found the information out of Vision. Two episodes ago. Oh, okay. Or not a Vision, but first thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, and you thought... knew some of this as well, put my already, because she talked yeah. to you. I was about to bring it up uh, that she did. Uh, that, that, that's strange. Uh, I just spoke with her not too long ago. What'd she say? Well, she's looking for an out. But she must be foolish to think that the Emperor is just going to let her walk away. That would be foolish. The Emperor's not a forgiving person. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that simple, but... Well, if we're going to meet her soon, then I guess we'll talk face to face. A decision will have to be made. Kind of wish Ken was here. But I know he's doing other things. Maybe I could. Hmm. I think I'll contact Ken's got, him. Ken's got a new partner now. He's upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think I'll contact him. Get his insight on this. Was there anything else, Putamayo? No. Maybe it's time they they finally meet. We'll see what he says. I'm not going in there. I don't want to talk to you right now. I just don't want to. I got other stuff to do. You're like, oh, where is it? All right. Anything else from you, Putamaya? Nope. All right, Zeno. What are you doing? All right. Well, I'm going to continue filling out these holocrons. Uh, this time I'm going to go in a slightly different order. Now I'm going to take the stuff that I put in the Jedi Alecron and the Sith one and the Sith one and the Jedi one. So I'm going to start with uh, with Dark Rage uh, for the Jedi one, which I'll roll first, and Sever Force in the Sith Alecron for the second All right. <clears throat> Uh, hold on, we neutral. Let's see. Yeah, we're neutral. GG. That's the Jedi one. That's the Sith one. Both are a pass. Alright. Let me write it down.
Anything else you're doing? Yeah. Say, I just make sure I write it down because I'll forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'd forget too. Yeah, write everything down. Yeah. All right. Second, um, uh, from Fort Trans, uh, how much? Uh, I guess that's full, right? Actually, uh, remember. yeah, you'd be up to full. I think it's four hours. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Sure, I'm not about to die here. All right, now on to far seeing shenanigans. Yep. Uh, as you knew was coming. So, uh, first off, um, actually, since it was on the on the on the topic, I'm a far see kin. Okay. If I well, no, that's a fail. That's a fail. Uh, I'm gonna use this other power. I guess I guess just in case. Yeah, we I. I I didn't think about checking it before, but like the, they got a, a bad feeling about this. To use the reserve force check to see if an assassin is nearby or pursuing you, as determined by GM. All right, roll the check. Use the use the force roll. <clears throat> Please be twenty. Nope. Even lower. All right. You do detect yourself going towards the presence of an assassin. Oh. Okay. Well, that's. Right. <laughs> that's kind of hey, you tell this is not a force that was hiding itself either yeah. okay well I'm gonna have to do the other assassins either way because I need to know if they're they're concealing themselves sorry let me actually put them in order uh, we're going from bottom to top alright so that's number four <laughs> so that that's good. a fail I guess she's number four so that's number three yeah that's, that's a fail two and one Ooh, nice. Uh, two is a fail. One, you know you're n you normally, with this focus of the Force, would fail. But you realize, as you look through, at this exact moment, he was reaching out for you. And you two find each other in the middle of a black void. No way. So Drost you see Dross 10 standing in front of you. Hello, Zeno. Dross, always a pleasure. Always. It's my understanding that one of the assassins has broken ranks to go and visit you. I don't know what gave you that idea. Do tell. No, because she's gone. And there's no one else that she would go towards. So either she's fleeing or headed towards you. And I don't think she's the type to run. I agree. And what do you plan to do about it? I'm curious to know what the nature of the meeting might entail. Do you know? Your guess is as good as mine. Then allow me to give you a word of caution. It's a trap. Most likely. You should be skeptical of whatever it is that she's going to offer. She is one of us, after all. True. But if she's truly broken rank, as you say, would it be a trap set by her, or, or is someone else pulling the strings? A curious idea. Perhaps even true. Regardless, I've given you the warning. You know, I appreciate the uh, the heads up. <clears throat> and uh, pardon me if I'm being rude, but uh, yeah, what uh, what exactly are you planning? I'm planning to kill you. Well, I I know that much. Yeah. <laughs> and your team, of course. <laughs> you will presumably be last on the list of those killed both in terms of rational end but also because I believe we would spare you to the end give you one final opportunity to join our ranks before we bury the hatchet so to speak that's what uh, that's what all of that was for 
sending victory, uh, victory to the to the Empire, the Imperial Authority. What's the battle plan about? What attack is power going to lead? These are the answers that I'm looking for. Is this truly all for us, or is there something greater that you're planning? I suppose that is the question. What do you think? Well, we're just a, a handful of... Well, to say former Jedi wouldn't really fit the bill. Uh, we're... Oh, you're... Definitely, you're definitely <laughs> no longer a Jedi. You are now a Sith. Whether you want to admit it or not. You can call me whatever you like. The Sith teachings. That's nothing I'm, I'm not going to hold myself to. Well then allow me to challenge your views. He kind of steps back. Puts his arms behind his back. I will put up a mental barrier. A flimsy one, but sturdy enough to resist you naturally. But if you pour your emotion and your rage, you may overcome my defenses and gain insight into the coming plot. Of course, to do so would be to embrace Sith teachings. What will you do? I see. Well, unfortunately, it's not important enough for me to try to force my way in. Unless, of course, you're saying that it involves our group here. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Well, then I won't act on a maybe. Very well. The dark side of the force has grown stronger. <laughs> oh, no. I do know that there are spirits within familiar presences. And at that moment, you can see both passion and strength emerge. You're fallen brothers. Your strength. How do I always lose strength? I need to group these together. <laughs> Former assassins, Jedi. <laughs> Plagueis. So don't worry, I have Dross Tense character shoot right now. Or his token. Whatever. <laughs> Just use somebody else. One quick second to scan through. I wish these weren't a negative. Is music playing for anyone? Should be. Oh, I, just, I guess I had to refresh. There we go. So, you can see everyone appears, and there's a void around you. Hmm. I wonder if you are aware that having presences as strong as these must put your own consciousness at risk. One of them um, may take over, for example. I'm quite aware of the risk. I can help you. And how could you do that exactly? I can help you to quell the spirits. Both from my species being a chiss, to the particular nature of my training has been one about control. Controlling those rampant thoughts, the uncontrollable urges. I do believe I could help you quell the demons. I don't see them that way, and control isn't isn't exactly what I'm seeking. These spirits, they all have some will of their own. These were people at some point. <clears throat> yes. No. They were.
I've simply taken part of their desires uh, as part of my own. And you Although think I don't agree. that will work? Well, it might work, or it might lead to my demise. I rescind my invitation. Someone fo so foolish does not deserve a place in our ranks. I By thought that'd be your answer. Oh, I, I thought that'd be your answer. I'm not simply going, you know, to to try to just allow chaos to run wild, but I can't simply call them to nothing. If that's what you're suggesting. Not to nothing. To obedience. These two know something about that already. They look at Justin. You can tell they're <laughs> looking at him the entire time, but even though they are disembodied, they're within you. Presumably there's nothing that can be done. Neither of them have risen a single word against him. Though you do feel their anger bubbling within them. And if I were to say yes, your whole plan to annihilate us all, just call that off and call it square? I never said that was my plan. But if such a plan existed, no. I would not call it there. You are one. Your team are others. I'm not worried about Aji Sai. But Midas certainly needs to be exterminated. With a mile, most likely, as well. Perhaps there is room for persuasion to him, though. He seemed to favor that last time I was with your group. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll consider what you have to say, at least until we meet. However, I should give you a, a warning. These aren't the only spirits that, that are here. There's one I think is quite a bit more powerful than, than you're imagining. I don't know if your, uh, your methods would quite work on this one. Perhaps. I do not know everything that is with everything that is inside of you. But control comes in many forms. Currently, I house one individual, one of the assassins, straight fight. He would beat me. And yet, he remains loyal all the same. Instead, I will direct him towards you. And if not you directly, towards Midas. Well, again... Until we meet, I'll give you my answer then. Very well. Good luck, Zeno. And same to you. I pulls his vision back. The weight is gone. You emerge back in the room. Oof, I wasn't even done. <laughs> Not with him, but like... <laughs> Even if I should Farsi, I, oh, I, I was gonna do it anyway. I'm, I'm gonna try to Farsi the girl. Um, okay. Whose name we still haven't gotten. I know her whole backstory, I just don't know her name. See how strong in the force you get. Well, then I have to be strong enough, I guess, if you roll a four. <laughs> Pretty sure that's All right. a fail. You know what? Let me reveal this. I can't let it just ride like that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a pass. Uh, you can see her climbing out of a ship on Moncala. You can see her and Melis arriving. All right, so they're already there. All right, cool. Yeah, that's all I really, really want to know. All right, uh, now time to uh, to whip this out. Uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, Deep Wisdom at long last, because... 
Okay. I, I forgot to use it last time, and I don't remember what what, what distracted me. <laughs> but uh, yep, since is, is it once a day per um, per spirit, or is it just um, once per day in general? Um, once a day in general. Spirit. Okay. to suggest that so I, it's clear for me all right so <clears throat> um g is not even a jedi so i'm not even or not yet but i don't think he has anything that i i particularly need uh, i am very curious though um i'm gonna I'm get just go with it so with strength uh, i'm gonna try to use deep wisdom and I, get, I don't know if this was like, I can choose what knowledge or if this was just a GM. You're looking for specific thing. knowledge. Okay. Uh, well, what I was going to pretty much look for was uh, Drostin, uh, if he had any particular weaknesses. Okay, by looking the strength. Mm -hmm. All right, roll the knowledge check. He knows him more than... Uh... <clears throat> More than passion, especially since he like jump ship. You reach into his mind to search for any weakness, and you find nothing. As you rip your claws back from his mind, you can see his ghost standing there before you, aware of what you've done. I knew nothing of Dross Ten. Other than that he was the first assassin. I did not even know his face. No weaknesses are known to me. Only the second. Perhaps now the third, but mostly the second. Would know. Or the Emperor, of course. Okay. Well, it wasn't total waste, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll leave it at that because I, I assume it's just one piece of knowledge per day. <laughs> Theoretically, or yes. Based, based on <laughs> based on that wording. Yeah, that's what we'll treat it as right now. There may be exceptions, so you can ask about it, and maybe I'll allow it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to assume too much. Yeah. I was like, it was basically, it looks like just one thing for once we are pretty. Anything else you're doing? Nope. Got my bad feeling. Actually, yeah. No, that's it. That's it. All right. But Mile, you have entered. Approach the workbench. Uh, so I'm going to take out the detonite charges and I'm going to rewire them. So, uh, and I'm also going to recraft the, uh, the detonator so that it's a, uh, it has like four different, um, switches on it so I can control, you know, which charge to send. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Which charge to explode. Okay. So, we're looking for two engineering uh, rolls, or uh, mechanic rolls. Alright. I don't even know where engineering came from in that. I don't think a single D&D &D game I've played has his engineering as a role. <laughs> it's me applying real world rules to it. He's getting that one. That's all I'm wanting for yeah, the first for one. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's... My character sheet is loading. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, my journal is loading. Sometimes I'm I've had to refresh the page, yeah. I I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what it was. Okay. That's what it was. Oh, sorry. Uh I forget there was one there was one of the person I was trying to think of, which was Piranha. But I'll do that later. 
Or I'll do it after this. I was surprised that you haven't tried to look into him a little bit more. I keep forgetting. Like I left the note last time, too. I didn't even see it, but I put it above this other stuff. <laughs> Out of curiosity, you all see this ping, right? These pings? Yep. Okay. There's now a ping everyone button, and I don't understand the purpose of it compared to left clicking, unless you just aren't aware of holding left click. <laughs> You know, there are some mouses with only one button out there. Ah, th those don't exist. Come on. I'm not that gullible. <laughs> <laughs> um, which, okay, so this one is going to first uh, construct the uh, the new detonator. So okay. that it's, um, it's for, yeah, I'm not going to touch the bombs just yet. Okay, then the second one, I hope, is the nat one. <laughs> not <Indeed>. a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> on dm powers bad. channel channel oops all right you succeed and you uh rewire the detonator adjusting it so that way it will uh, control how you intend all right so for this one i'm gonna use a force point that one the force point won't matter if you get it that one <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. 36. All right. You succeed. All right. I'm going to uh, just, I guess, put the detonators in my pocket. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. I put the bombs in my pocket <laughs> yeah. and act like everything is okay. All right. I'm going to step back. <laughs> All right. Actually, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to, I'm just going to stay in this room. All right, you can see kind of you can tell that the droid was watching you as you've turned around going through the process. Not saying so, a word, just thoughts back. Remember when you stabbed our engine? No, but no, no, we stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zeno, you have another far sight, far seeing. Yeah. I was really trying to blow me up on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you failed to get any insight on Piranha. Yeah, I don't even know anything here. I'm just going to roll just because there's no way I'm going to... Unless I get a 20, I think. Probably. You're probably going to need the net 20. The highest, because this is 13, so my highest would be a 37. Well, maybe that's a success. 37, maybe it's not. Who knows? <laughs> or uh, sorry 36 without a 20 yeah all right anyone doing anything else i was gonna try to reach out to ken all right we'll use the force check you succeed oh cool all right put him on it i sorry i read the name put directly beneath you and in my head that was your name is he standing right there? No, oh, it's that's just the name of the bunk. This is locker. I was like, <laughs> Midas. Again. How are you doing? I uh, have become a knight now. Congratulations. Thank you. We're uh headed to uh Moncala. Well, perhaps I'll see you there. Are you heading there as well? Just about to arrive. Are you aware of what who is going to be there? That's weird. Oh. Are you aware that Melis is going to be there? Sorry. No. No, I was not. Yes, we're heading there. She's going to be there, and she's also brought the young force sensitive. Well, I'll be sure to stop by and say hello. Yeah, please do that.
Thank you for the warning. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Anything else? Oh, as much as I'd like to interrogate every person on the ship, uh, I'm not going to do that. I mean, <laughs> here, here's the intercom. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, why not? It's kind of nice you, being able to walk away from like, with my headset on. I heard one of you planted bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'd like everybody into, uh, into the room that the bombs were in. We've rearmed them, and there's an investigation going on. <laughs> Please cooperate. <laughs> was the last one in the room was going to be blown away. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> All right. Not too long passes. Should. Oh, go ahead. No, uh, we probably should do something about that. <laughs> I mean, it, well, we we ass we assume that it was the bear and that it and um, H HK though, right? Yeah. I mean, I. I've, I feel like there's a third party, um, but you know, I I can't really. I don't have any evidence <laughs> for those claims. Well, uh, you're a Jedi, again, right? I guess they'll present themselves sooner or later. Perhaps we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it later. Surely there'll be time later. <laughs> Walk off the ship, it just explodes. <laughs> it's all to the blood stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware, Orpheus. If you're wondering, Midas, uh, he, he's clarifying that you got uh, a recollection wrong, which I'm fully aware of. <laughs> and I'm not going to address it all beyond that. All right, so a little bit of time passes and you arrive on... Uh, uh, you arrive back on Moncala. Smell that Moncala air. Mmm. Holly. <laughs> See, all you people are on the boat now. Some of you aren't here at all. I left this. Oh, yeah, Midas was gone at this point. I know something else that's cool. This is the you guys won't be able to see this, but viewers will. Tell me the truth. I can now do fun stuff with that. So even you guys won't know, but then the second it's time, but bam, you realize it's been there set up the whole time. I can change the GM layer opacity. Worthless for most people, incredible, like I absolutely love it. Fantastic for me. <laughs> All right, you all walk off the ship, and you see Ken there, waiting for you. Ah, Ken. Ken Das. Nice to see you again, Ken. Sorry, one second. The question was brought to my attention, and I don't know how to answer it. I don't think so, Orpheus. Ken replies... Good to see you as well. How'd you size not with you? As he succumbed to his that. illness? <laughs> or I guess affliction? <laughs> not quite. Uh, well, he's been kidnapped. Oh. And... I take it Mellis isn't the kidnapper. Unfortunately. Uh, presumably it's the bear. You don't know where they're going to be at, though, just yet. Or perhaps well, we do, but we'll see. Perhaps it's better to leave Aji's <clears throat> side to his fate. Not quite abandoning him yet. Perhaps he should. Yeah. 
Maybe. That's kind of it. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> the camera's is bad. But um, why are you, why are you here? I didn't know you'd be here. I returned. I finished my business elsewhere, and now I figure it's time for me to focus back at the matters at hand. Well, you've come just in time. Yeah, thanks for coming. Of course. Well, we should go hey. present these uh, blueprints to uh, uh, Commander Akbar. You don't wish to speak yeah. to Mellis first? Is she on the? Is she here at this location right now? She's here in Dock City. I guess we should. Have you seen? Mm-hmm. Maybe in case we, we need to make a business for us. I was gonna say, in case we need to make a swift exit, um, we don't want them to be in the middle of working on our ships. Well, I guess they would be working on the engines and then attach it later, so we could drop it off and then head there. I guess. I'll run down real quick. As you're uh, doing that, his <laughs> <laughs> tentacles flopping. <laughs> ah, Did you? Remember, isn't my fishy friend. Sorry. <laughs> GG. Welcome back. How can I assist you? Aficionados. <laughs> Aficionado. Yes, that's great. Good. Very good. Yeah. Here you go. We got the blueprints for the for the new boosters, I think. Ah, for engines. Excellent. Yeah, engines, yes. Yeah. Very well. We'll construct you a you free uh, set of these on the condition that we are allowed to maintain these blueprints. Yeah, we don't need them after this. Excellent. We can pay somebody else that deal. <laughs> Ask him about the bombs. <laughs> you're the, uh, like I hear something in my mind. I'm just like, trying to swat it away. Uh, uh, you're the bomb, by the way. <laughs> uh, thank you. The bomb, by the way. Um, so we did come across uh, several explosives on the ship. What? Yes, uh, there was one in one of our uh, bunks, uh, and then there were several in the plant room. Uh, let me see here. Pulls up, you can see he pulls up a hollow. That's not in the blueprints. Yeah, the bombs? Yeah, I wouldn't think it would be. Um... Well, then it wouldn't have been any of my people who put it there. Yeah, you had a uh, number actually... of crew assisting. I would wager starting your investigation there. Yes, I wasn't accusing. I was just uh, letting you know. Um, maybe whenever you're having these uh, constructed, um, do y'all have some sort of security measures that, um, uh, or like cameras that are being, that, that are uh, focused in on them? Uh, not particularly, no. Okay. I just can assure one. you that this will not be worked on by your team, though. If that makes you any better, it makes you feel better. It makes me. It, it does make me feel better, but I just don't want one of them to sneak off if there is someone amongst us that is not trusted. And I assure you, the Mon Calamari them. people are very vigilant, and we will not let anything get by us. Thank you, sir. Any uh, luck on the other on the other uh, parts? Uh, not quite. We've uh, we wanted to get you these first so that uh, you know if we need be and we get into a pickle, we can be able to outrun someone. All right. Thank you. Uh, I will return. Uh, any idea of how long it might take to construct those? Uh, we'll have to analyze the blueprints first. I should be able to give you a time before you leave. All right. Thank you. Mm. While that's happening, so Midas is a knight. Uh, yeah, he had this uh, this grand adventure. Uh, he'll tell you. He can tell you all about it. I heard you were there, in spirit, of course. Interesting. Well, um, good for him. You were there. 
I'm happy to see that one of you is embracing the old Jedi traditions. I imagine oh. at least one of you would still be capable of attempting them. About that, I query if if you would. Say a um, a uh, a lost a lost one child who hasn't really been given any any training in in the light side of the force or given the Jedi teachings. Uh, were to be in your care. Uh, is, is that something that uh, you'd, you'd be willing to do? I suppose so, yes. Okay. Even though you're, I guess, no longer following the, the Jedi. Well, I guess you follow the I'm light following side. the old ways right. of the Jedi. Okay. I, I keep forgetting. Like, I was like, are you doing like the... But like the Jedi code or like <laughs> light side or what are you doing? <laughs> my focus on my focus is finding balance within the force. Well, just to run it down for you, there's a there's a force sensitive child that was taken in by Inquisitors, and she's now with Melis, who's been well. I don't know exactly what she's been coaxing her or. Maybe teaching her. <clears throat> I don't know if she's planning to weaponize her against the Inquisitors or not, but I think she'd be better left off in your care. I see. Well, if the child would permit me, yes. And if she doesn't, she seeks revenge. If she refuses to be a te or to be taught by me, then I cannot teach her. Whatever else right. happens is up to her, and up to you, and up to me. <laughs> she will join us, or she will die. All right, that's that's fair enough. At this well, point, you joining us? Or... Oh, yeah. Yes. I will leave the conversing to you. But I need to see your current place. All right. Shall we? Let's go. It leads you through the city into Another part of it. Another relatively small and basic map. Astala? No. Yazzie down. <laughs> that is her token. That is not her. Okay, good. That would have been weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is the token of the girl. She looks a little bit younger than that actual picture. But uh, it makes sense for me to use that for the descriptor and other reasons. Grandchild. Well, I mean, she lived like a thousand years ago, so I I would say no. Uh, no, I mean like a grandchild. Great, great, <laughs> great, great, great. <gasps> All right, Not you so make great, your way right? down. You can see that there are a number of Mon Calamari guards that have blasters standing in the room with Melis and the girl. Please like aimed at them, or like not aimed oh, at them, okay. but you can tell that they are. Uh, th they have their uh, trigger fingers ready. Oh, Did he uh, come with us. Akbar's here. <laughs> he follows down here. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> like, what? This, is, like, this is my city. <laughs> no, he was. He was going to come down here. Uh, Depending on how things would have begun with Ken. I forgot oh, to delete oh, him. Okay. I was uh, right. as you say, I was like, is he supposed to be <laughs> I'm gonna can I turn to them and I'm gonna turn to the, the Moncolon people. Please leave the area in case something doesn't go the way or unless things go badly. Gonna look at you for a second, nod their heads, make their way out. Except for this one right here. He's got Yeah, you too. 
<laughs> Close the door behind you. <laughs> Run. Well, it's good to see you again, Kin. And all of my former Padawans. Likewise, Melis. It's, it's been a while. Hello, Melis. Hello. Alright, first things first. Uh, I need to see that alignment, ma'am. Of Melis or the girl? Yeah, like, um, both, actually. Uh, I, Melis first, though. She License pulls, and registration, please. She, pull, she pulls up her... Uh... She pulls open her robe. There you go. There's yeah. some... <laughs> you can tell that she is still a crimson red. She has not gone any lighter, lighter. After she embraced the dark side, she has remained that dark the entire time. Or perhaps it's a ruse that you can't see through. Her, on the yeah. other hand, you can see there it's neutrality with flecks of the light and flecks of the dark coming in here and there. More so lighter or dark. Uh, they kind of mix pretty, pretty, pretty okay. balanced in between. Okay. So, Udamayo, have you agreed? Agreed? Yes. Want to step up? Uh, well, I don't know. Does this can want to talk to her first? Uh, he said he was going to let you converse. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Melis. Hello. Melis. You taught us better than that. Come on now. What do you do mean? You really think? Do you really think you can just walk away? I believe that we all have a purpose. A mission given to us by the Force. And what's your purpose? I believe it is to guide this youngling as I once attempted to guide you. Even if that means leaving this this young one to certain death? It won't be certain death. I believe that. Uh, Not if you join me. What makes you so confident? Me? Yes. Why is that? Because together we will have all that we need to escape. And there is only so much that they will do to pursue us while your other comrades keep them busy. If you think the three of us will be enough, then... Trying to choose my words very carefully here. Girl, you're crazy. You <laughs> if you think just the three of us will be enough, then maybe you need to think back on your teachings. Think back on, on what you're trying to deliver and maybe believe it yourself. I have thought this through, Putamayo. If you... It's time for you to think again. If you refuse to join us, then we will move on. Now, that doesn't mean we can't be together. As long as the rest of your team is there, you aren't safe. Well, that's just one possible option. Your team isn't safe as it is, thanks to Xeno. From a certain point of view, yes. And I'm going to use foresight here to look at uh, first. I'm going to look at Melvis, <laughs> and I'm going to turn to Zena. <laughs> <Even could be. laughs> you can see they seem to be about the same shade of crimson red. I guess in a way you could say Zeno uh, fully realized your teachings. In a way. He is yeah. everything I hoped he would come, hoped he would become after I left the Jedi Order. Unfortunately, 
There's a little bit too much there for him to contain himself, I sense. I'm gonna look back at Zeno. Possibly. <laughs> but tell me, Zeno. But that doesn't matter. Oh, go ahead. Tell me, Zeno. If we left, left you all to your own devices, you would defend our escape, wouldn't you? I think, uh,. Sometimes they're more important things. But I have my own priorities, I should say. And letting you die, or rather killing you myself, isn't on the top of that list. <laughs> In fact, if I were to even try to kill you, I'd be putting uh, putting the gun to my own head. That aside, what are you what are you really doing, Bellis? What is your goal? I Simply guidance, or are you weaponizing this girl? Is there a difference? I'd like to think so. Is there truly though? A teacher is someone who guides them. Someone who guides others. Regardless of the teacher's intentions, they are directly affecting the course of that person's life. As a force user, no matter what conflict is in her future, whether she is ready for it or not, and how she handles it, will be up to her and to her teachers as she looks back to Putamayo. Well, in the academy, it wasn't it wasn't common for Padawan to have two teachers, but we did. Perhaps what's her name? Barilla. Yeah, you can see yeah. her name, Blake. So yeah. Oh, okay. I wouldn't know that in character. It's right. a little shiny. <laughs> <laughs> But the girl, perhaps, she should also. You can join us. You and Ken together. The well, teaching's probably a little bit opposite here. Well. <laughs> Zeno, this is a path I am committed to. You cannot talk me away from what I'm going to do. I'm stepping away. I'm not telling you to abandon guiding this girl. However, perhaps she could use other perspectives. It's not about Billy other Wendy. perspectives. I will not allow you to teach her yours. I'm not planning on teaching her mine. But nonetheless, you will be in proximity. And you will influence her. And so will they. I'm not planning to have any sort of influence. In fact, if it comes down to it, I won't even be in the picture. Land if that puts you at ease. Or not, you will influence her. No. If I'm not there, then I won't be able to influence her, right? And where will you go? Yep. I'll figure that out. Nonetheless, if that changes things, Ken is here. Truly wouldn't be against giving her something else that could give her an edge. You will influence her, Zeno. Regardless of your leaving or staying, the second time the second I join your side, you will influence her. Hmm. 
<laughs> Who's X? It's, I just didn't want to give the. I just didn't want to give him a name. <laughs> they forced me to give him a name, so I just put it at X, and I've removed it, so it won't be an issue. But you can see, you can feel the presence of Darth Plagueis. But is everyone else? <laughs> you can feel him reaching into the back of your mind. She is right. You will influence her. You can sabotage their plan now. And then she will have no choice but to stay. She could be your own Padawan. Wished. Andy, like a like a guardian angel. This would, be, was, this would be the devil, and then like somebody else would be like the angel, and then they would just be like, <laughs> just like, like, <laughs> like telling me like two absent things. So while uh, Zeno is um is is having some internal conflict, I'm gonna direct my attention to Melis. Melis, let me be clear. If you take this girl away, your chances are slim, extremely slim. And if I join you, well, I fear they might be slimmer. No. Now, I understand. They'll be better. Uh, I understand that's, that's how you feel. And I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> but... With the way this world is, we have to look at reality. And the reality is, you don't feel safe with us either. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to cut you down for being a Sith or any of that frivolous nonsense. I feel safe with you, Putamayo. And with Midas. Possibly. Even with Kim. But there's... There's something, well, there's like a 12-foot elephant in the room, and he, he currently uh, has the kings to the kingdom, so to speak, and you're free to go on your own and, and try to teach this girl something, but we all may have a purpose, and my purpose is to change this cacophony of a universe. Very well. Let us go, Barella. <laughs> At that point, you hear the whispering again, oh, Zeno. Hold on. Uh, as she says that, I'm just like, I'm just going to tell her. Keep in touch. He goes to start to walk away. Now, Zeno, influence her. Corrupt the path that she will be driven on. Make it one that will serve you and your goals. Remember what Eddie the Imaginary Gerbil would say. <laughs> 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 okay, so you're the angel. I get it. I, I can't. All right, hold on. I got you. I'll draw something. Fine. <laughs> then I will. And he's going to begin to influence you to influence her. He's going to roll. He's, he's always going to roll like a 35 plus. Dude. I don't even stand a chance. <laughs> the one son. <laughs> Literally every time, right? like, easy, easy 35 plus. All right, what is he doing exactly? He is now guiding Zeno's hand in some way, shape, or form to influence the girl towards the dark side of the force. Well, I mean, she's already being taught by a dark side user, so like, 
it's like the uh, dark influence like um i can't remember but it basically it's like a voice like t telling you to do something or like for trying to force you away. yeah yeah i know I, I get it but i'm just like <laughs> okay um uh, but i'm i'm gonna make a small assumption here all right uh <laughs> when when plagueis has been popping out we've been like noticing him because of the over like the exuding darkness is that correct so when he stepped out did we take notice of that because i want to interject with what Zeno's about to do you with foresight you definitely would notice him and if you are trying to be aware you can really use the force check to be aware of the sudden change in his presence so um okay so this is before i can react to whatever he's going to do yes okay yeah Rip. i'll say sense it <laughs> okay um and so he's trying to influence her and then i'm going to yeah, so essentially you can the... see that Zeno is beginning to pull put his hand towards melis and the girl as they're beginning to walk past i'm going to use the force to Propel it back at the dark presence of this uh, meany face right here. All right. Roll use the force check. Same with you, Zeno. I'm going to use a destiny point. You want me to do it? Oh, a destiny <laughs> point. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's two destiny points. All right. Just, uh... No need to roll in that case. Who's drawing sad faces on this boy? <laughs> I not <laughs> All right, so what happens I'm like, here? My head back, I'm just like, no. he goes to raise his Zeno's hand. You reach your hand back, aware of what's happening, and you just throw everything you have, your entire will force, will power, at him, and you can see what as soon as it slams into him he is just dispersed, no longer having any influence over Zeno's action. Turn to Zeno. And keep your damn ghosts in check. <laughs> and check your demons, man. Thank you. <laughs> Look at a mile. Turn to Malus. Just get out of here. Yes, Midas? The first time you've talked to me. And it's because I've had to stop you from leaving. He smiles at you. And? Why won't you? Why is it that you've done this? Why can't you come back to the light side? It's not about yeah. can't, Midas. I won't. I saw everything that happened. With the purge i felt the lives of my friends disappear i watched soldiers who had been loyal to me try and execute me and those who i cared for and in my journeys i discovered it was because the force needed to rebalance itself so i intend to allow the dark side to be stronger by using me. I'm gonna interject and say no. It's because you're weak. She turns to you. Is this what you truly wish? Or is this what this you truly believe? Chance. It's I don't have to believe anything. It's the truth. We were all too weak. But this is your chance to become stronger. And maybe you can make that girl stronger too. The Force is the most powerful thing that we can ever conceive of. To fight against it is to try and reshape a river with your bare hands. Who's fighting against it? Everyone. All of you. Maybe from a certain point of view. I have seen the future. And I have lived the past. 
the force must be balanced. And that means the dark side must exist with the light. I don't disagree with you. That's why I have no qualms with what you've become now. That's why I have no qualms. Of, well, yeah, maybe I have some qualms about Xena. But... <laughs> <laughs> this is why I wanted you to join me, Xeno. To test this. Not Xeno. Putamaya. To test this. <laughs> A truly dark influence and one of pure light to help ensure that the girl remains neutral. Not overly influenced by one or the other. And perhaps you should go, Putamaya. That achieve both mm -hmm. goals. <laughs> no. Our paths will cross later. It's simply not the right time. <laughs> I just love to like look down. Like, the fuck you saying to me? <laughs> <laughs> Man, shut up. <laughs> I mean, if this is what you You're truly about to believe, force shit come on, man. if this is what you truly believe, Melis, then why wouldn't you take Ken or attempt to ask? She turns to him. She dumped him, that's why. Because Ken and I do not see the world the same. We have learned the same message, or we have learned the same... Yeah, learned the same lesson, that's what I'm looking for. But we have come out with different morals. Kin whereas he may believe in guiding the force. I believe in helping ensure that the river... Or sorry, uh, I don't know if I said that wrong. Where Kin believes that we flow with the river of the force. I believe that we should build a dam to contain it as we can. What few ways we can. Our paths are inherently conflicting. And the reason I leave the assassins now, where I once thought that they would be the perfect place for me to allow this to grow, is darkness to be a controlled influence I now see it too is waning. It will either be consumed or it will consume. In either way, in either way, it is unstable. Malus, don't do this. My decision has been made. No harm will come to the girl. We will not inflict harm on you. I know, Zeno but... approaches, unless we are forced to. I'm just here. I have one question. Well, two questions. Uh, and looking at the girl and not Melis this time, even though she can't see me because or see my eyes shift because I don't have eyes. Uh, <laughs> when and what is your name? <laughs> Barella. Rella Sean. Rella. I've seen your past. I know what what's happened. At least some some of it. Is this truly the path that you wish to take? I I I trust in Mommy Mellis. The world's a big place, and there's lots of different things. Is Are you following her because you want revenge? Is that why? No. And why her and not the Inquisitors? I don't want revenge anymore. Ellis helped me realize that my parents won't come back no matter what I do, but that they're also not truly gone. I think I can be happy with Melis. 
I'm gonna search for feelings. I wanna see if there's there's anything beyond that. Excuse me, he's a four six. Alright. That's a week. What is what is wrong today, dude? You do sense that there is some anger still in there, but it's nowhere near as prevalent as it once was. Okay, all right, going on a going on a limb here. All right, nobody think I'm evil for this. All right, so uh, I'm gonna try. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try and influence her emotions to bring forth that anger. Similar. To what Plagos was was doing, but not to influence her to the dark side. I just want to okay, basically. You, well, you don't anything here, or increase her emotion to 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 get her to 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 reveal her truth. What's really there? I'm just gonna turn to Zeno, and I'm just gonna say, "Let's stop it with these useless things. Let's get a move on. This is important. I don't care." <laughs> if she truly wishes to go and that's the only reason then we can just let them go is there word well, not good actually, enough for you I did have a question what is it exactly that you want Barella or was that the answer oh, the answer that was whatever mommy Malice wanted uh, and that's pretty much it oh, okay. she'll well, you can, she, she'll elaborate further I guess if you're asking no, that's fine. There is more there than she's revealing. Now, as you can see, puts her know. hand out in front of Barella. Anything you try and do, I will send back at you. I don't think it really matters to us. Even if it's against her will? Well, do you trust Melis? I trust Melis. I used to. Midas, do you trust Melis? I used to. Hey, snap. Not fashion. <laughs> You're on the right path, Zeno. We see through what others cannot. In character, I, I'm kind of aligned with fashion right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna proceed with what I'm doing. All right. Roll your check. And, and just, just to clarify again, you know, I, I am just increasing the the emotion, the 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 anger that's within her to reveal what she has. You know, you basically reveal the, the reason for that emotion. That's fine. I just think it's a, a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> you reach your hand out and Mila, she kind of clutches her head but before she even has the chance to react Melis whips her hand out towards you and is going to use horsepower gee fashion help alright that is Ready? correct <laughs> she'll be using a force point Ooh. Yeah. oh GG. What's your will defense? Should, does she do that to all of us or just him? Uh, you can tell she's targeting just him. The question is, should I rebuke? You'll have to roll. So it's not like you got a guaranteed here. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm just... Because my will defense is 36, so... It's not terrible, but it's... You know what? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let it right. Let's, let's just let it right. Hey, your will defense is 36? All right, so you were down two on the on the uh, condition tracker. With the crit, I'm gonna make it three. Actually, okay, that makes sense. It's perfect, Plagius. This, this is your chance. <laughs> you can see. Morella <laughs> <laughs> kind of stumbles backwards a little bit. He should pay. We should get revenge. No. No, Melis is right. Oh, so the Xeno is specifically calling out the dark side within her. Oh, he she didn't stop him. She just stunned him after. Right. And yeah, she would him. No, Melis is right. Revenge is not the way. 
As I said, you will influence her down the dark side of the force. Down a place that she should not go. This is your teammate. She turns to you, Midas. But together we can make sure he does not negatively influence anyone else. You can see my influence over him is still strong. As his teacher. Well, I'm using resil resilience whenever, whenever possible. Yeah. Well, we'll get that. Well, let's see what Midas does here. Like, what does she mean by like, like, what does she want me to do? You can I, tell I, she's I, asking you to kill Zeno now while he's weakened. That is not the Jedi way. Until she glares at you. <laughs> He's been weaker than this, and I did not strike him down. I will not give up on him yet. And you can see she reaches her hand back towards Barella and causes her to collapse to the ground by using Force Stun. Uh. Leans down, picks her up. I will not allow her to be tainted by Zeno. You can hide the truth from her all you want. Only when she confronts that truth can she move past it. Wait, you're stunned. Can you talk? <laughs> he's not. Still talk. Yeah, he just has condition reduced. He's been weakened. <laughs> oh. At this point, you can apply resilience if you wish, Zeno. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't sitting here like this. Like, I don't know what is going to happen next. <laughs> Make her your paddle one. Make her understand that revenge is the path, Zeno. I thought you just wanted me to kill Drasin. I do. She can help. Melis is now an obstacle. One who is guarding something. Something to take advantage of. Melis is weakened. Kill her. You really think it's... You're just one panel on, she's not, she's not even trained fully. I never said sure she had to help you drops. fight. All right, just for just for effect, like at this point, I'm just talking out loud so people like hear me, like talk to, to them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look over at Zeno and just kind of be like, and then look back at Melis. What's the end game here, Melis? You plan on running away with Barella I have and said, hiding off in a cottage somewhere? I have said my goal. I am stepping away from the conflict, and I will protect the girl. But what happens when the conflict comes to find you? You think that the other assassins are just going to let you leave? I think that they will be busy with you. And what happens when we don't make it past them? I believe that you are stronger than you realize. I believe that so long as you do not allow Zeno to negatively influence you, as he has a habit of doing to everyone around him now, you can you turn to Zeno? overcome oh. and make it past at least most of the assassins. I can't promise the next time we meet it will go this way. Then let's make sure we don't meet again. <laughs> and she goes to walk by. <laughs> I'm going to casually threaten you as you leave. <laughs> what was that, Zeno? <laughs> oh, it's that attack of opportunity. I was like, <laughs> make sure we don't meet again. I mean, she will be walking by. <laughs> well, I, I do want to use something that I think I have, but I just can't remember what it's called. All right. You go ahead and do that um, while you're searching for that. Passion's going to continue whispering in your ear. You know, it's almost too late. Another opportunity about to slip from fingers. 
How long are you going to put off what needs to be done? The girl won't be able to help. You don't have to train her. Teach her the dark side of the force, or teach her to use a lightsaber. All you need to do is to use her as a shield or a distraction. There's others that can be used for that. It doesn't have to be the girl. But more <clears throat> shields are better than one. And more distractions will distract them more. No. No, it's... If she won't go with Ken, she's lost anyway. You saw it yourself. She still holds that anger. That isn't going to disappear, no matter what Mel says. And what's the end goal, then? She becomes another Inquisitor, another obstacle in your way? No, no. She wouldn't become an Inquisitor. Then an They're assassin? Enemy. And someone who hunts down those who have killed her parents? People like me? No matter what, she's either a distraction or nothing. Don't waste an opportunity, Zeno. I'm getting sick of being patient. Uh, so while Zeno is, is talking, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna like sigh. I'm guessing he's like, uh, Zeno, are you standing or are you like kind of like kneeled from before stun? No, no, I'm like, yeah, because I have a recruit. So I'm like, I've got like the book and I'm just like clutching the book and just like kind of <laughs> like, uh, like mad ramblings pretty much. I'm, I'm just going to sigh and like kind of crouch and put my hand on your shoulder and be like, all right, yeah, he, he got stunned by, by old mommy Mellis. All right, get up now. I'm like Targeted a system focus. like on his feet. I don't turn to Midas. I'm just like, you know, we need to like, I don't know, like, uh, give him some forced detox or something. Everything's, everything's fine. Uh, yeah, if, if, the, if that is fine to you, then uh, maybe you should get your eyes checked. <laughs> I don't have my eyes, Peter Mike. <laughs> <laughs> You've got you four eyes. You have four eyes, now shut up. <laughs> what does Target Focus do again? Uh, it gives me a supernatural knowledge or inside of my goal. That's not big. I don't... That's incredibly big. What kind of an idiot wrote something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Gain insight to your goal. <laughs> oh, yes, my goal. Uh, you can tell this seems to have no relation to it. So as you try and focus on her, they seem to have no direct relation to your goal. And with that, I will uh, turn my back to them and walk over to Zeno. They continue to walk away unless anyone's doing anything. I see that arranged now. Actually, you know what? Let me pull out a strange lightsaber. And, nah. <laughs> they walk away. She walks away carrying the other one. Put my hands on uh, both uh, both my hands on your shoulders, and uh, I'm just kind of like gonna give you a little shake. All right, snap out of it. How you do it. It's fun. I'm turning to Ken. So how was it? You've been talking to yourself for five minutes. Yeah, I wasn't talking to myself. Well, to us, it seems you're talking to yourself. I know you're talking to the Force Ghost. Perhaps. Sorry. Not uh, yet. Perhaps Melis was right. If you're losing your mind enough that you're talking to them openly, perhaps we should have put you down while you were weakened. You too, huh? You think I support what you're doing? What you just did? Encouraging the girl to tap into her hatred? This isn't what we discuss, you know. You were seeking, you're trying to seek balance. That wasn't balance. It's not balance, but 
You can't simply ignore that part of you. And as clearly demonstrated when confronted with it, those who don't face it easily sway. I don't think Nellis was trying to make her run from it. After all, she's uh, she's clearly enveloped in uh, other parts of the force. <laughs> no, she she was not going to have her confront that. I think one way or another, those teachings from oh, whatever teaching she was going to give her would lead to it, and she'd have to deal with it one way. Oh, she'd have to deal with it eventually, just like we're about to deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, but she'll have to deal with it eventually, just like uh, you'll have to face your own demons. And she will. Now, I don't know what makes you feel so strongly about her revenge, but maybe you should focus on your own revenge for us. Whatever that may be. I don't seek revenge. But I can see much more. I saw her past, see her presence, and a small glimpse of her future. Like I said, if she doesn't face that now, it'll be too late. That's rich well, coming that's, from you. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, that's just that's your fair. opinion, man. <laughs> I understand what you were trying to, uh, sort of understand well, what you were trying to accomplish. On. Let's you know. make a bet. Let's say she does. Uh. Let's say it becomes too late. I'll give you 50 credits. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I'm not going to take that bet. No? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like it's uh, you're too confident in your own words, then. I'm What's the matter? Are you, you're, but... you're afraid to lose a bet? Credits aren't, aren't worth much to me. What, are you chicken? <laughs> Flakes comes out. <laughs> well, what did you say? <laughs> you know, um, I understand, I guess, what you were trying to accomplish there, but it seems that she had already pretty much come to terms with what was going on. I don't think that. Mellis was blocking anything from her. I think that she had influenced her that indeed there is no bringing her family back. What's done is done. He didn't accept. Fueling the, fueling the fire that is the revenge that may, the little bit of revenge that may be sitting in there isn't going to show her a different path. It's just going to you're doing more damage than good, my friend. Snap. No, you see it one way, I see it the other. That's just how it is. No, what's done is done, like you said. So we should probably get going. Midas, you should go. Zeno, there's something you and I need to talk about and hash out once and for all. You're thinking. Oh, that fades music. <laughs> <laughs> Are you certain of this? Yeah. I'm still your teacher, whether you want to, whether you want me to be or not. I've never disowned you as a teacher. It's like you haven't disowned me as a student. And see, he's just watching, waiting as Midas leaves. <laughs> he's gonna jump into the water. <laughs> Stealth mode. He 
turns to you. Zeno. Ajisai once talked to me about wanting me to return to my old ways. Was that something that you wanted as well? Well, yes, but whether or not I wanted it, I don't think should have any bearing on on your path, so... I bring this up because I think that that is correct. I've tried to go with the flow of the Force. But the more that I bring myself back into the center of what is going on, the more I realize the path of the new Jedi Order is still there within me. He grabs his lightsaber and ignites it. The path that involves not shying away from conflict or the evils that are directly in front of me. Zeno, I'm here to end you as your teacher. Draw your weapon and let us have a duel. Well, this is quite a problem, Master, as some of the spirits wish you alive. In fact, need you alive for what's to come, as he said. This isn't about the spirits. This is about you and me. You're right, it's not about spirits. I share their belief that you're a necessary component in what's to come for true balance. And so I'm asking you to just stand down for now. He points his lightsaber at you. No. We settle this here. I can simply leave and you'll have nothing to do with me. And what would you do? No. My plans haven't changed. So perhaps our paths will meet again at the Emperor. Or perhaps I'll be dead along the way. You'll be none the wiser. You said you wouldn't influence the girl. Then you did. You said you'd allow Melis to leave. You made sure to corrupt the girl before she did so. I do not believe anything that you say, Zeno. You can either draw your weapon or be executed. Well, I can't have that. And so I also draw my late table. And let us begin. My final lesson to you, Zeno. Well, for initiative. Hold on, let me cue, uh... <laughs> Duel of the Fates real quick. Da, 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 da. I'd play it if it wasn't copyright. <laughs> Be the, the epic remastered version. Alright, Midas is secretly thrown himself as he's hiding behind the corner. GG. Oh, you rolled stealth. Let me roll perception. Oh, he did roll stealth. Yeah, I'll have uh, Ken roll perception too. You can't see me! Hey, That's just natural perception. By hate. Ken doesn't see you. I see the force, dude. I don't see people. It <laughs> walls will stop me. <laughs> Your vicinity. Too far away. Yeah, sorry. How dare you? <laughs> you should have never just... rolled that stuff. <laughs> You're distracted. Dang, I was gonna get anyway. Yeah. Are you still can't see me? <laughs> you see me? I'm John Cena. <laughs> yep. Both you and Ken are too focused on each other to focus on Midas. All right, Zeno, you're up first. I'm real happy that Midas gave you back, uh, or gave Ken back his lightsaber. Yeah, me too. Does he not have a lightsaber? No, he did. He didn't. Now oh, he does. Like his... Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, what did he just ignite? <laughs> I was like, what? I said, like, <laughs> yes, I'm real happy right. he did give him back the lightsaber. Oh, oh GG. I just made it a lot right. less conspicuous because I was going to ask for it at one point. All right. Well, gosh dang. All right. Well, fine, Ken. Like, oh, I, I can't kill you. 
I guess that's the only thing, so I'm just gonna... Oh, jeez, guys. Force point Dark Reach. All right, so that's only a plus two. Yep. Let's use another force point to reroll. I mean, damn, your force has uh, not been good today, man. Uh, there's a few rolls. Hey, at least it's dark side leaning. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. All right. There we go. Uh, is, is force enhanced me melee? Is that like a, a swift or, or what's, what's the deal with that? Or is that just that's a, passive. passive? Okay. Oh, I'm using the battle strike then. All right. Uh, just to specify, I got Revan's lightsaber equipped. Okay. You ignite the, as you've ignited the blade, it is shining a crimson. And it is currently light side of the force. So it is no longer in your favor, but in Kins. Oh, it's... Wait, what? Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. This was just based like, on his? Oh, like, oh my yeah. goodness, dude. They, they like Kin more than they like me. This is stupid. <laughs> 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 All right, so that was 36, bonus 12 damage. So go ahead and roll the hit check now. Yeah, that's a crit to you. All right, so this is the... Battle strike, or...? No, just the... Uh... Oh, sorry, that's the use of force check. I'm driven. Uh, so that's plus three. That is a hit. What? Does you know a hit with a lightsaber? As you're peering over the around the corner, Midas, you can tell he is moving with a newfound swiftness in his move, uh, just th going throughout his entire body. So he has taken 27 damage from the lightsaber, 12 damage from battle strike, and that's it. Ken. He's going to strike at you twice with his lightsaber. I'm gonna negate energy the second one. <clears throat> did I hit cancel? My instinct I did is cancel. telling me. You're gonna do what on the second one? Uh, negate energy. Alright. That's what my instinct tells me. Let's confirm a critical failure first off. Critical I swear failure! That's the, first one, dude. that's the first one we've gotten, I think. So what's going to happen here? Let's do something special for this. Where is... Jay? Holy shit, dude. The fucking... You're Light going to see... Be damned. <laughs> for a split second... Oh yeah, I forgot to add the light side of bonus to him. You're going to see for a split second... Jay appears adjusting his hand so that way the lightsaber as he swings down the actual hilt of the lightsaber slams into yours that you have ignited causing his to malfunction and it's now beginning to act sporadically snap so he's going to go yes. ahead and make a second attack here uh, so that's going to be only that and you activate your negative or your uh your negate energy yeah. Good enough. Uh, you fail to negate it, so that attack does succeed and go through. The Intel's lightsaber is flickering on and off. The exact ramifications of that we'll get to when it's relevant. <laughs> hey, come on, Zeno. Put the Jedi in his place. And Jay floating. <laughs> you can tell he's essentially just walking around as this is happening, watching. All right, but you should have taken that full damage. So you are up. Yeah. And I'm going to use uh, Force Thrust. Okay. To push him away. I don't have that on my... All right, well, let's do this then. My God. Oh, was it Force Push? No, I named it Force Push because I was mad at... That it was force <laughs> thrust. I was like, I thought I had it. Oh, force wow, push slash thrust. There it is. That is a <laughs> pass on the actual check. I'm going to use the force point. 
Force point. Use the target's check. Deal an additional 2d6. Uh, oh, that is with the... No, because that's... Okay, roll a 2d6. All right. You slam him back into the wall. Causing him to take five more damage. Anything else you're doing? Uh, for I'm gonna, yeah, I guess I am gonna just move back. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me pull something up here real quick. It's gonna dash. He's going to charge at you. I knew it. Charging that full <laughs> way. Get, now what we're going to do by here. He's going to get tripped by Jay. <laughs> tripped All by right. Jay. And then he will go through with his attack. Uh, so that's plus two from the light side, plus two from the charge. What the fuck happened there? What the? <laughs> I'm really confused. He had a plus plus. It's time to roll that critical but, failure. Okay, I did. I put a plus plus there. That's that was the issue there. But he still rolled a nat one. A one. I'm, I'm so gonna double check that real a, quick. I was gonna say I thought it was a four. <laughs> okay, no, that does automatically negate it. Or am I crazy? And that's just a double. Never mind. That that we're gonna treat that as another confirmed critical because that was two ones in a row again. GG. What is? Let's do it one more time just to make sure. <laughs> I, I did. That was the final one. Okay. <laughs> oh no no wait wait wait. No, You're right, no, I didn't do that right. Time. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 maybe it's just okay. always turning into that one. Okay, there yeah. Yeah, that's fucking... I, I, I He's about to be like, Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, all right, we're going back uh, on that. I also like, rolled... Like, I, know he was, I, used, I know he was a little rusty, but Jesus. <laughs> I also used... Um, uh, I rolled a used force check because of, the, um, because of that confirmed critical. What was that? <laughs> I, I, I rolled a use the force check to sense the disturbance in the force. You do feel presences clashing where you just were. I'm just gonna sigh. <laughs> it seems it's me. All right, so he charges at you, swinging the lightsaber, and you hold your hand out to negate the energy. And as you do, you can see the lightsaber entirely shuts off. And. Well, I'm force pointing that as well. Let me take that. Okay. Six. Yeah. Did I get some some health back? But it didn't hit you, did it? It shut off. No, I negated it. I guess unless he's saying like doing that would have would have done it, but yeah, I'm saying that, that you negated it and caused the crystal to stop glowing. It caused the oh, the okay. beam to stop going. Oh yeah. Well, no, I guess yeah. I still got the health back, right? Yeah. Hey. Anything else? Oh no, sorry, that's the turn. I, was, I, I, I thought that was clear. Uh, oh, bad. I got legendary. Not yet. Uh, Ken doesn't have legendary actions. There's one of us. <laughs> no, no. A non legend. Yeah, you ask Ken, why did you have to do this, bro? <laughs> why? It's not too late, Ken. We can stop this now. You can go. I'll stay here. I'm doing what a Jedi must. I understand. And I'm sorry. I don't even know if that's a hit. I think his wall's pretty high. Thanks to the light side leaning, that is a miss. Ooh, that is a fail. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to reach out the force to try and choke him, and you can tell he uses his own force to bend your hand away. I'm not yeah. going down that easy. Anything else you're doing? Uh, I just gotta pull out the book. <clears throat> In my turn. All right. Uh, what 
lightsabers do you have currently dangling on your person? Uh, well, they're in a pouch. Um, but I guess pretty much all. Well, actually, no, because I gave. Yeah, I got it in my inventory written down. So I also has my my lightsabers, the silver one. Uh, I gave three away, so I've got. Oh, I moved it. There we go. I've got six. The six random ones. Do you have the dark side one? Uh, I don't think it was ever confirmed. I think you just said it was like these are just random people. Uh, there as far was, as I know. I, I mean, um, uh, Sidious's lightsaber. Uh, no, I think. Hey, actually, yeah, I just I still has that. Okay. Yeah, I just has it. Okay. Uh, he is going Ashen's to use the force to try and uh, take the pouch from you. I guess I rebuke that. Oh, yeah, Probably. you can attempt to rebuke it. <laughs> Unless he just... Well, I guess he needs to move object, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to rebuke that. Or try to, anyway. Uh, quick question. Oh, what if Zeno just tries to use the Force to, like... Like, pull it back? <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of what rebuke <laughs> is doing. How <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, like, he, after? Oh, oh, no, not after. Like, oh, I guess it'd have to be after. Yeah. Unless you're going to use rebuke. So All you right. failed then, right? Yep, the yeah, rebuke fails. Failed. So he grabs the pouch, reaches his hand in. He's going to pull a lightsaber out at random. Uh, seven is your lightsaber. Uh, any of the other six are uh, the other. He grabs your lightsaber out. You recognize no, no, huh? no, no, my lightsaber is with Elsa. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I thought you no, said no, your so lightsaber was in there, so that was a misspeak. No, no, pa uh, Passion's lightsaber is in there. And then... Oh, the Passion's lightsaber. He draws Passion's lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> I have the stats to that. That's good. That makes that easy. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's his turn. You're, you're up. You're trying to slay me, slay me with my own lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought was about to happen. To flex on me. That was going to be great. <laughs> I would now. Your turn. Oh, no, he's just gonna grab it and just end it. End it. <laughs> yeah, he, his action is taking the pouch. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try and take it back. All right, he has drawn the lightsaber he wanted from it, so he's going to allow it to happen without any resistance. He's not gonna rebuke it or anything like that. All right, so you can just releases it and you take it back, putting it back into where it belongs. All right, is he like dual wielding or or like? Did he drop his other one? He's dropped. Uh, I get right now. He, I guess, he's holding both. Only one of them is ignited, though, and that's uh, Passion's lightsaber. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's the same thing. We'll back to back to status quo here, sir. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me real quick make some adjustments to the damage here, and then he no, drops his other lightsaber and is now holding the red one against you. He's going to go and swing it twice at you. Blocking the first one this time. All right. We're just going to roll both here. You fail. Reroll. That's that. So I guess it's going to be a fail. Yep. Barely still a fail. Probably should use force points for these rolls. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... You're going to run out of force points before you know it. Uh, well, not quite. <laughs> got a nice little mitigation for that. That's a good point, Orpheus. <laughs> You're going to see as Jay is walking around, still analyzing the battlefield, he's going to convert into passion as soon as his lightsaber is drawn. Well, <laughs> well, well. What will you do now, Zeno? Continue onwards. Talk Neither to me, not the die. voices in your head. Oh, I, oh I, as I, I assume I just, you're still talking out loud. Talking. Yeah, we, okay, I'm sorry. Like, I confused me. Like, I was like, was that passion talking? I thought I was talking to passion. It's like you're actually losing your mind now. <laughs> Alright, so you've taken uh, a couple of like big hits. Yep. Back, back to me. All right. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, force drain real quick. 
Okay. That is a pass. You drained two force points from him. Spending a force point. Yep. You also heal 2d6. You heal nine hit points. Alright, I'm also gonna... I thought it was eight. They already rolled up there. Oh Four. yeah, you're right. Oh, did I add that in? Yep. I didn't even realize that. GG. Alright. All right. Still have a bonus action. Yeah, get a second win. Yep. And in my turn. <clears throat> they surrender now, and I will end this like a Jedi. A quick execution. Oh, is that the Jedi way? It's my way. At least it'll be better than some of the other Jedi. True enough. And that's why you should live. You cannot afford to be lost here. A little persuasion. This isn't a direct like you're persuading him not to fight, but this is like you're in you I feel like that could be influencing. You can tell you've kind of weakened his will at that one. He's going to suffer a condition penalty. GG. <laughs> but he's going to go through with his next two attacks all the same. Uh, I'm going to negate the second one this time. Same damage. First one hits a 24. Is that still hit? Uh, no. Okay. Damage hits. GG. <laughs> the second one goes through unless you're using a force point. Actually, the first one wasn't a hit. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, my, my defense is, is 29. So I think the other, actually, yeah, the other attack didn't even hit. I'm tripping right now. All right. Well, can't really undo that since you've second win, so. Yeah. Did you just say, like, the same thing, but, like, backwards? Like. Kinda. No, no, like, hey, you're like, oh, after another. <laughs> it was in reference to something else, but that is kind of what he said. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was talking like, like, about the, the previous attack from. Oh, so there are actually two, two freeze attacks. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just realized my my reflex was was twenty nine, so two of those hits would would not have gone through, but uh, it's too late now. Well, the twenty four is still missed, but the thirty that's a hit. Yeah. I failed the check anyway. There's a way you can gain the advantage here, though, Zeno. All you have to do is say please. No. Yeah, he just goes away. <laughs> oh. I was pushed back before. But I can still cripple this man. Say the word, Zeno. You're up. No. No matter what happens here, Ken will not die. Uh, yeah, you can sense the changing presences, Midas. You can sense the dark presence that Ken is holding, being the lightsaber, and you can obviously sense Zeno's still persistent dark side. Well, what, um, what else I'm trying to sense here is... I want to sense um, the influence the saber that Ken's holding is having upon him. Is that something I can kind of sense? Because I feel you like you sense he's... no increase in dark side in him. Okay, it's just like uh, the same throughout. Okay, I didn't know if I was sensing little spurts here and there or not. Because some of the things he's it's saying, I'm like, that's fair. Trying to think of a comparable Jedi situation and how this would be reflected in the Force. I'll say you do sense a slightly growing darker side to him. <laughs> Nothing significant by any means, but it is growing with each strike. 
Maya was stealthed. He's got to swim up. Jump out of the water, through the glass. Ha What the hell's going on here? I left for five minutes. <laughs> Horse. This is for stun. Okay. I don't know what happened to that, but that's supposed force. to be for stun. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that is a force. success. With so that brings point. him down another step. Oh, with a force point, brings him down two steps. And he was already down one, right? Yeah. Yep. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, hang on. All right. We're good. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, now we're good. <laughs> Feeling that Kin is going to spend his move and bonus action towards, uh, towards his, uh, condition tracker and then he's going to make one attack with his lightsaber so that is a I'm ready. minus five plus two so it's the exact same role he's been doing you succeed even though you roll preemptively yeah I mean I, I was going to do it anyway so it's yeah. <laughs> alright are you using a force point so uh, you know it I don't have a choice right now. <laughs> Lightsaber slashes through and you consume the energy. I see that from Ghost take over. Give a word. Give the word. Please. Stay out of this. Oh, I forgot my reach counter. Yeah, I think. I think it was at seven. That's at eight now. What will you do when you win? And Ken will be spared. And, and I'll leave. refuses to leave you. I'll make sure that he doesn't. You're up? I think I'm kind of like riding on the edge right now. Uh... He's force pointing this too. Force judgment. You use the light side variant of force lightning on him. <laughs> That's versus his reflex defense. Yeah, which currently reflex. in his weakened state, that's a pass. That versus threshold this time. And that's also now a pass as well, so he goes another step down. Alright, let me use another force point and bring myself up to condition. Alright, that it for you? Yep. Yeah. Spend both his actions towards the condition tracker, bring him back up a step. He's gonna swing the lightsaber at you again. That's a good one. He's just consistent with that 30, you know? Mm. That is pretty consistent. Lightsaber's coming in. You taking the hit? Uh, I'm going I'm to take the hit. There's All right. Somebody. Slashes across you, this time ripping your, your, uh, your, 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 what am I forgetting the term? Your eye blindfold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my, my brain's. Ew, mush. <laughs> Alright, you're off. GG. So I lost my shades. Yeah. Alright, cool. Are, I'll put my are, eyes. <laughs> I guess I guess all these hits are better than uh Zeno or not better than Zeno's threshold, right? Not trying to help Ken in any way, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's the question, Zeno, is it? Uh let me see. Yeah, it is actually. The uh, threshold twenty five. Ooh, so you should have been losing condition this whole time. Ooh, well, I wasn't calling it out, so here we are. That's all good. The dark or the the light side has just grown weaker. 
but it's still light. Let's do the last one. The light side's grown weaker, just like Ken's light side. <laughs> and now there's a struggle. Back to me. Did that not change? Yep, back to you. I... Just gonna do this one more time. You unhook? Oh no. Oh no. I can't afford those stats fell anyway. Oh no. Set real quick. This fight is becoming, is becoming more and more even as we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gaining supporters. A program break on me? Malfunction, malfunction. I just wanted to see. I'm just rolling this real quick to see if uh, what I changed fixed it. This is not in any way what's going on with what's happening. Huh. That is not what I thought it was going to do. <laughs> Now I wish I wouldn't have changed anything. Producer is gonna stand by. Sir, I'm trying to figure out exactly why uh, points aren't being properly redeemed. Progenitor is on lunch break. Redemption skips Q. Redemption skips Q. Auto pack. Why are you being held in the queue? How do I allow things through the queue? Amateur streamer hour. <laughs> Well, whatever. Right now, we'll just keep going. Is that was that your turn? Uh, yeah, the force done. Your or force. Queue. There we go. What do you mean? There's nothing in the queue. I have a list of things in the queue. All right. Well, I'm just gonna manually change the number here. Uh, it was three that brought us down to three. Then it was four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're currently light too. Don't let the deceitful lies of the of the <laughs> Jedi distract you. What? <laughs> I don't know. It shows blue. <laughs> I think it shows blue. All right, so Ken's gonna go to strike at you again. Oh wait, no. Did he? Wait, what? what? It, is your turn? Yeah. Oh yeah, you used Force Stun I, and it I just went Force terribly. Stun. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was a freaking air skull. It's another hit. Alright. It goes nothing. It goes nothing. And you managed to negate the energy. I'm going to restart the program I use. Alright. And uh, can't get picky with force points now. So you've healed another good chunk of his damage. And now it's your turn. All right. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Come on. Fourth point. There we go. The, that's the first time the, the program just failed on me. It was like the battle between light and dark broke it. Uh, okay, that's a pass. That will bring him down with his current step. Let's see where we're at. Uh, did I close his character sheet like a dummy? Connor's being distracted. He forgot to go up one step on the condition in his last turn. Yeah, I realized that. That is over five over. Are you using a force point? Yep. And with that, point. he collapses to the ground, unconscious.
So what will you do now, Xena? In must live, regardless. Good. He will. I'm happy. He will go with the others. <laughs> uh, before you approach Midas, before that you approach, this is happening. I'm happy that you, and you can see, just disappears. No. You're gonna kill him. And strength reaches out to influence you. Let's strength right. check again. Strength is high, but his isn't as high as Plagueis is, so there's a chance. I think his was higher than most, but it was his was above passion, but it was lower. He than, reaches um, out and starts to influence you, and you can feel yourself compelled to strike down Kin on the ground. I'm gonna I'm gonna heroic moment this. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you don't do you have that? Do you still have that? Yep. You got only one. I was I was happy because we got separated it? so it didn't, it didn't get used. <laughs> when did you earn that? Uh it was a while back. Because that's, that's the like, thing, yeah, you I'm used back. one. I thought you used yeah, yeah. I thought he used a destiny point. I right, so I have I had over the whole campaign I've had two. The first one uh I used um to revive what's his face, a clone. And the other one I never used. Now the other one you used uh to consume the spirits within the uh the guy. Oh that's right, that's right. So I'm gonna use a destiny point here then. Wait, was that a hero? I thought it was a death. I, well, I, no, thought, it was a, I, I thought, thought it was a heroic moment. I, I remember saving you, but I guess not. I, either way, I'm, just, I'm gonna use one of the two to prevent this. So I'll use the destiny point. All right. Well, we'll say before that de gets to the destiny point here, as you're kind of you can feel yourself moving against your will. Midas, what are you doing? I was gonna like, do I see him getting ready to strike him? Like I pull it up. Oh, he pulls yes. it up. You can see that is definitely about to happen. Oh, I'm gonna disrupt that for sure. All right, go ahead. Progenitor's call. Are we still light side? Yep, I think so. Yeah, I like to. And then I'll use a uh, I'll use a force point to to make it happen. Uh, is that with the plus on the light side? Yeah. Is that a success? You know, in your current state. Uh, is it against the 40, 43 or what? Against, against will defense. Oh. Uh, you like at 38, up. aren't you? Uh, I was 36. I'm at 35 right now, unfortunately. Oh, no. I said I was using the force point to make sure it happened. Oh, okay. Then with that, you can feel your action get interrupted as Midas makes the call, stopping you. Strength growls. <laughs> Yeah. Disappears. I guess I get to keep my destiny point now. Yeah. What are you doing? What does it look he's, like? He's Fending the one with the red lightsaber. He's down. Why would you try to kill him? I'm not going to kill a kid. I saw you raise your lightsaber to him. I wasn't going to kill him. I don't know what to believe anymore, Zeno. You know, I can say I don't care at this point. If you choose not to believe me, then choose not to. I'm telling you, I wasn't going to kill her. I figured you of all people would know how important Ken is at this time. Of course I There'd do. There'd be no reason for me to kill him. But you knocked him out and I saw you raise your lightsaber. How can you explain this? I defended myself. He attacked me, whether you decide to believe that or not, either. I, I, I know he attacked you, but he's down now and you were going to kill him. No, I wasn't. But it seems you believe that. But unfortunately, he is now unconscious, and I'll have to be on my way.
reach right there next to me. We do that like half stare. Of, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah actually, like, it makes it more dramatic. Yeah. Wait, is he at minus four? Oh, just minus one. I was about to say, use force stun to knock him out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> minus, I don't got it. Uh, GG. It's probably better that I part ways. It'd be unfortunate for things to get worse from here. Part ways? You, you, you all are not my enemy. But me being here, well, there's an inevitable path that lay before us. So I'm averting that by separating myself. That's not how this works. I still believe in you, Zeno, and I can't allow you to go and me not be able to watch and make sure you're progressing in the right direction. I will progress. You just simply have to believe. And if you can't do that, well, then were we ever friends? How can you ask that question? Well, then trust me. I've been trusting you, and you've let me down time and time again. I see. You don't really trust me. I'm sorry, Zeno. I draw my lightsaber. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> again, is it? I thought you'd understand. I'm starting to think the Jedi believe extermination is the only path. Are you ready? You have nothing else to say? Defend yourself. I draw my lightsaber again then. And we'll find out what happens next time. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> out of the frying pan and into the fire, eh, Zeno? <laughs> I was like, dang, I was like, I thought he was gonna let me walk fast and very so like, <laughs> I was like, I was like I let yeah. Malice walk by once. I can't let you walk by two. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shall see this confrontation next time. Now, let's give a quick thanks to the patrons. So I need to resize that. Thanks to Daniel Bixler, Ethan Rumor, Posadas, Quagger, Loki, Grandma Gucci, Zay, Ass and Kill 3, and Pepper 20. We appreciate your support. Thanks for watching us here on Twitch. Thanks for watching us over on YouTube, YouTube. Sorry again about the previous delay last time. But hopefully the quality has been drastically improved on both fronts. Uh, I, I think it definitely feels a lot better for me. It looks better. And uh, next time, we're going to see exactly what happens between Xeno v. Midas. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yo, the soundtrack.